All right, so now we get to do another project. Installing this. So now we are going to be putting this on this. I already got one. I'm about to show you how to do the other. Well, we're going to do this today. <laughs> this is a gas stop safety device for your propane tanks to make sure that when the gas is off, it is really off. It detects leaks, and if it detects a leak, it stops the propane. So. Now I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this package. You see how I had to destroy it to get it open? I had to use an X-Acto knife. Um, so just be aware that they do not want you to get in this package even after you purchase it. Uh, be prepared with some scissors to get into it. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this gas stop safety device for your propane tank. Um, it will detect leaks, and if it finds a leak that it's leaking, it will actually shut off the propane. So we're gonna take this off and put this on. Make sure you turn this off first, all the way to close, all the way. And it's definitely on close. And then take this off, put it down here, get your situation hopefully yours is not as destroyed as mine get it out of here and we're just gonna screw it in all right and then you'll screw this to the outside Ooh, that's a lot of torque right there well that's a lot of uh it's like pink on the line is that a bad thing hmm a little worried about that but let's see let's see if once I get it on if it's the same all right so now that we've gotten it installed we have to do some checks so first you want to make sure that this is upright right you don't want to lean to the side you want it upright um, second you want to make sure this is hand tight right and if you have grip issues, and sometimes I do, I ask my husband to help me, but if you have a neighbor or um, a friend that can stop by and just check it for you, that would be great. And in campgrounds, it's really easy to ask somebody for help if you're installing this there. So you just wanna make sure it's hand tight. All right, so that's what I've got. And the last step is pressurizing. So to pressurize it, you're gonna do a couple of things. First, you're gonna open this, right? And then you're gonna take a spray bottle with some water and some dish soap, like Dawn dish soap in it. And you're gonna spray it all around to see if there's any uh, very small leaks. You know, this would detect a big leak, but if there are any seeping small leaks around here, you wanna be able to see them. So we're gonna turn it all the way on. There we go. All right. So it is open. You're gonna press this until it won't let you press it anymore. That is pressurizing the system. You press this until it resists your pressing. Um, I couldn't use my thumb because I have arthritis in my thumb, so I use my whole hand. All right, so then I realized that if I didn't use my whole body, but just kind of my hand, it is tougher to press down. So I know it's pressurized. It feels the same as this one, which is pressurized. And now we're gonna use our water. And we're gonna just spray it all over the place. A little bit of soap in it, that way if there's any gas leaks, it will bubble. I mean, I guess you could put a lot of soap in it if you want. But I'm not seeing any here or here. Wait, there's some bubbling here. There's a leak here. That's not good. You see the bubbles? There's a leak here. There's no leak on this one at all. And in here, no. All right, so, oh wait, I didn't do over here either. There's nothing going on here. All right, so this is a leak. This is a problem. We're gonna fix it. Uh, now that I know there's a leak there, I need to figure out why. Maybe it's just not tight enough. Maybe with the way it's curved, this little S curve here, it's causing some issues because it's pulling on this uh, joint. I don't know, so I'm gonna check it out and I'll come back and report what I find. So it got hot out here in January. I think it's about 70 degrees. Um, so I took off my jacket and we pulled it around and what we're learning is, is that this part here for Grand Design had a recall. 
I don't know if that extended to the hose or not. Uh, so we're gonna reach out to Grand Design and see if uh, they'll just send us another hose because this joint here, there's no O-ring uh, gasket in between these two metal pieces. So that's why it's leaking. Um, so there needs to be some kind of gasket there. It, it could just be that the hose is bad. So we're gonna call Grand Design and see what they say. Um, that's as much as we can come up with today. So we're gonna shut off the gas, of course, and uh, call it a day. Let you know how it shakes out later.